Hi and welcome to my second video tutorial. Um, in this video I created a binary counter. Again I'm using my Arduino Uno board um, and what I wanted to do was create a simple binary counter uh, that used eight LEDs to represent the number range of 0 to 255. Now whilst I was investigating um, how to do this uh, I came across this bit read function on the reference page of the Arduino website. And essentially what it does is it allows you to take a number and uh, read it as a bit number. And what you can then do is if you if you use that particular function, you can almost treat each number as an array. Um, and if you use a for loop, you can cycle through that bit number and work out whether or not a light should be on or off. Okay, so if we take a look at the code, I'll run you through it. Alright, so the first part of our code sets up an array called LED pin. The pin has eight elements. Each element represents a bit in our binary number. We also have a max count, which is used in our main for loop. And we also have a delay interval, which is currently set to 250, which is the equivalent of um, a quarter of a second. In the void setup section, we set up the um, pins that we want to use as outputs. So I've got a little for loop here which um, goes from 0 to 8 and we use our LED pin array to help us do that. So it cycles through the elements within our array and sets each one as an output. In void loop we have a for loop which cycles through the values which are equivalent to our range in an 8-bit binary number, so that's 0 to 255. In each cycle of the loop, we call a function called display binary, and the value of the counter is passed into that function. That function is used to determine which lights to turn on and off. Every time the function completes, we then move on to the delay, and the program will kind of just halt itself for the length of the delay interval. Uh, in this case, it's a quarter of a second. Let's take a closer look at the actual display binary function. So this function is essentially a small for loop and we are looping 0 to 7 times. Now that's the equivalent of our 8-bit binary number. And if you remember back to that reference page I showed you, um, for each loop we call the bit read function. Now bit read reads a bit of a number and in this case the number is whatever we've passed into our function. It then uh, takes two parameters. The first parameter is the number from which we want to read. Again, that is the value of our counter. And the second parameter is which bit we want to read, starting from the zero, for, which is the, the same as the least significant um, or rightmost bit. The bit read function essentially returns the value of that bit in terms of one or zero. If it's a one, then we can use that value to turn on the LED, or if it's a zero, we can turn it off. And that's it, that's the code. It's really simple, and I hope you found it useful. 